Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Aro Hobby Gaming. And in this episode of If It Goes, I'm trying some new battleships. That's nine battleships. And this is a Scorpion. And this is Caldori battleships. And I think this ships was very very unique. Although his ship was same like rattlesnake, but the color of the ships was very different. These ships have a um, cardari color that's like uh, gray, silver, and white. Okay, you can see. Okay, very nice. Okay, now let's see what bonus she get. Caldari Scorpion. Oh, okay. She can equip two drones and five hike slots. Okay, only five hike slots and four middle slots, five low slots, and three rigs like always. Oh, I wondered why these ships can only have five. Hike slot, even though it is a battleship. Battleships usually have minimum of seven or maybe eight, but this battleship just only can bring five hike slots. Okay, let's see what the bonus you get. Advanced electronic warfare. Oh, okay. So from the bonus itself. These ships were specialized in electronic warfare. Okay. For every advanced electronic warfare bonus, we can get plus 10% guidance disruption strength and plus 10% guidance disruption optimal range and plus 5% scan resolution. Okay, so if we can get our advanced electronic warfare to level 5 we can get plus 10 percent guidance disruption strength oh i mean plus 50 percent and plus 50 percent guidance disruption optimal range and plus 25 percent scan resolution okay so this ships were specialized in electronic warfare and focused on guidance disruption so this ships was mean to kill any other missile ships oh very nice so we can try later with versus caldari which is more focused on missiles this the npc of caldari is focused more on missiles and we are gonna to try that guidance disruption okay next bonuses battleship command bonus per level okay plus 15 percent turret damage oh what plus 15 percent turret damage and plus 15 percent missile or torpedo damage okay so um, we can get plus 75 percent storage damage and plus 75 missile or torpedo damage so this ship can be equipped by many or any weapon you can found or what you're skilled at and your weapon will have a upgrade damage by 75 percent if you have battleship command level 5 so that's nice addition so this ship was very versatile versus missile and we're gonna try that okay mm, although the status was a bit low like the overall defense flight velocity and power grid and capacitor output that 
mm, for electronic warfare this ship was little unique okay now let's see what fitting i will try for the hex slot five hex slots i got Sentus c type large beam laser mm, the damage type was upgraded by plus 75 percent from the base and our optimal range was about 75.42 kilometers and i got five of them well if you want to try another thing which is crazy you can put all the weapons on these slots but i think that is not very effective okay now for the next low slots ah i mean middle slots i got virus guidance disruptor mm, this is the best guidance disruptor we have on lift server and let's take a look at the stats okay so for the strength we got in this explosion velocity bonus minus 25 percent point 20, uh, i mean 28 percent sorry 28.13 percent and explosion radius bonus adjustment 28.13 percent and flight time bonus minus 43.13 percent okay so if you turn on this on your enemies your enemies will be debuffed by this explosion velocity explosion radius and flight time bonus so his range will be minus 43.13 percent and that is very nice so if you have about if the enemies have about maybe 60 kilometers range for his missiles it will be reduced by 43.13 percent and that was cut by about 15 kilometers or so i think we will try it later and i think it will have a great effect on battle cruiser or battle ships who have equipped by large missile launcher okay for the next i have predator stasis webifier this is just for safety measures if anyone getting close and two large drones like always okay low slots kissy type large micro web drive and centus c type large shield booster and this is eagle tracking computer for our range bonus so it i want to match the optimal range of virus guidance disruptor and our laser sit at 75.42 kilometers optimal range so that will be nice to have an optimal range same as the guidance computer okay and this is the large battery easy type large capacitor battery because you can see our capacitor was not very good minus 215.4 percent if we equip them all <laughs> okay next for the rigs I got laser burst aerator 3, laser coalition accelerator, accelerator 3, and again laser burst aerator 3. Okay, nice. And this is for adjusting your scan resolution. So you can get more scan resolution. And that was very nice capacitor recharge and this one was capacitor recharge too okay now let's see what this scorpion can do on battle this is my defense and we will go to 72 kilometers
and the rattlesnakes was built from these ships of course because they got same shape okay nice let's do this okay now let's kill the oh nice I think the lasers have a great damage. Nice. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's try how much strains the enemies can hit us. Uh, let's try a 14, 40. Oh my god. You can hit. Our damage was 9000 the last time. Oh nice. Okay. The enemy is still not hitting us. Oh, okay. So, um, I think the 50 kilometers is fine. Okay. Let's kill that Ferox first. Okay. Now, um, Let's wait for the enemies. Okay, it's let's try a forty. Okay, for this. Okay, now let's try with guidance disruptor. And oh, sorry. Turn off our auto orbit. Yeah, you can look at the enemies now. The enemies can hit us from this range. Um, if the enemies have a uh, forty range, I think it cut down to about 28, 29 kilometers. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> okay. So let's approach from 70. And kill the enemies. Let's try later with another battle ships. So it's nice to have this guidance disruptor activated to another missile battle ships. And in DPVP2, you can kite another battle ships. Maybe the Typhoon, maybe the Raven. Or maybe the um, future burgers, so they don't have a lot of 
flight time. I mean the rates, the activation range. Okay, nice. Mm, let's set our approach at 72. Okay, um, this laser has a good damage too, and it's very stable too. Okay, nice. But I'm sure this lasers drain a lot of energy <laughs> okay the enemies absolutely can hit us from this range Okay, nice. Okay, now let's try which enemies can hit us from this range. Because sometimes the enemies can hit us from about 90 kilometers. And I think he is using a large missile launcher. Okay, I think I know the reason why these ships just can only bring five guns because the additional damage she gave for the weapon model was already so big so that's why this ship just only got five weapon slots because even with just five weapon slots these ships can pack a punch i mean the damage from the from five laser itself was very big too for about seven second activation time the damage was about four thousand five thousand Six thousand. That's nice. Okay, now let's try to wait how much range this raven can hit us. Ah, okay, from this range can hit us. Nice. Okay, now let's turn on our guidance disruptor. His range will be cut by forty three point thirteen percent. That's very high. So I think if she can hit me from 65, it will be cut to about 35 or 37. 
I'm not bringing my calculator here. Uh, you can you can calculate that for me, and I bring two of them. Ga guidance disruptor uh, so it must be very 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 huge reduce for the flight time oh, okay nice so this will be a good ship to kill Kaldari or maybe the Minmatar but maybe you can change another to another weapon I mean the hex slots because I think the lasers is draining our capacitor very fast. Okay, nice. They, she can hit me. She can hit me from that point. Okay, now let's kill that. Oh, nice. Okay, this Raven was hit by guidance disruptor and let's try how much range this is just only hit by one guidance disruptor and we will try how much range she can hit us Okay, so I think this ship was very unique because there is another, there is no other ships like this. Maybe the, in the future there was another electronic warfare battleships, but not right now. I just see. Another pair of ships. Hmm, there's not there's no other thing like electronic warfare battleships or what? But the scorpion is the only one. And the of course the faction battleship was a nice electronic warfare ships but the price will be very different so with kit i mean with fitting like this you won't be touched by the enemy battle cruisers or maybe battle ships who are equipped by the large mission launchers So maybe the strategy strategy of using these ships was first turn on our warp disruptor to maybe one or two battle ships who are using missiles and we can be good. Okay, 
Okay, nice. Ooh, 7,000. So just, I will repeat, it's just five gun or five turrets or maybe five missiles. We got a lot of damage. That's crazy. And this is very unique. I think the range of these enemies will be about 60 maybe. Let's turn our Guidance Disruptor off. While waiting, the enemy is getting close to us. Okay, that missile is coming to us. It is hit. Woohoo, hit. Okay, so 66 is. They can hit us from 66. Let's turn on. They can hit us anymore. <laughs> I like this. Okay, nice. Our lights approach. Oh, so we got two Raven, and I will turn on my disruptor again. These two. Okay, nice. Let's see if we can cut down their missiles range. So this, the one is Raven and the one was Raven Striker. Okay, nice. So we are safe from this range. Now let's wait a bit. We are still safe from this range, okay. Okay, nice. So we are still safe again. Okay, nice.
Okay, this is just very nice. We are very safe from the enemy missiles. And I think you, if you like the unique ship, you must try this ship. This is okay. <laughs> I'm surprised by this ship's performance versus missiles, of course. Don't try it with another weapon because guidance disruptor is only work on missiles okay now let's stop here let the enemy close Look at that, the enemy is launching missiles but only uh, cannot doubt us. And it, ah, the missiles just was disappeared on the middle of the, sp of the space. That's weird. Look at the other enemies. They are same. Boom. Okay, this is the Raven Striker. We are 68 kilometers from the Raven Striker. And Let's try again if we turn off our guidance disruptor. Let's see if he can hit us from this range. Okay, we are okay. No. 66 kilometers. Still no. Okay, sixty five is it? Okay, nice. So sixty five. Let's turn it on again. And the enemies can hit us again. Oh, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> nice, nice, very nice. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, yes, this this ship was truly unique from any aspect. Okay, nice. Okay, we are finished testing the ships, and the conclusion of these ships was these ships was nicely done with the bonuses versus missiles enemies. So if you turn on your guidance disruptor to the enemies and you cut two guidance disruptor you can turn off your i mean you can turn on your enemies one by one maybe um, usually there is two or three battleships 
and you can turn on one by one and you will be very safe from the rains yes okay and i like the additional damage from her roll bonus because even we just can bring five enemies i mean five models we can have a lot of damage yes okay thank you for watching i hope you enjoy the video and please comment and like if you like the video please press like if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and support us and turn on your notification bell so you will know if we are uploading new video thank you once again and goodbye